This is an amazing thing. Whenever you're going to study a book, you want to read through it several times and ask yourself, why did the author write the book? Here we can see why he wrote the book. That those who are professing faith in Christ might know, might know that they truly have faith in Christ and they truly have eternal life. Now, why was this necessary? Well, many scholars believe that there was a group that later became known as the Gnostics who were very, very esoteric, very, very mystical, in that they, they taught that in, in many ways God was very, very hidden and God's will was secret and only certain people could know it. And so they came in to a church that had been apostolically planted and were causing confusion and people were in doubt. You know, we see these super spiritual people over here doing super spiritual things and we just have the simple gospel. Could it be that it's like they say, we do not have eternal life? Look what John says in verse 11. And the testimony is this, that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. And again, verse 12, he who has the son has the life. He who does not have the son of God does not have the life. Do you see a pattern here? Our salvation is found in only one place. The person and work of Jesus Christ. That's Christianity. I have spent over 30 years serving my Lord. I have suffered terrible things. I have lost. I have been in danger in mountains and in valleys. I have suffered fevers in jungles. I have walked through malaria pits. I have been both loved and hated, hunted and applauded. I have worked at starting orphanages and taking care of street children and living with street people. And all these years add nothing to my salvation. If I died right now, I would go to heaven for only one reason. 2,000 years ago, the Son of God shed his blood on Calvary for sinners. That's my only hope. That thief on that tree and I have everything in common. There is only one foundation of our salvation, our vicarious substitute, our atonement, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord.